Hi, my name is Philip Chesney and welcome to another episode of Career Prep. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to make resumes for high school students. So, are you in high school and looking to get a part-time or seasonal job? If yes, you're going to need a resume. Today, we're going to see how to create resumes for high school students using a program called Visual CV. So, to get started, you can click sign up, or if you already have an account, go ahead and click on login. Okay, to get started, let's click on this plus CV and resume. And let's click start from scratch. Now, it'll give us an option for a couple of templates. Now, these top ones are pro templates, and these are paid for. So, if we scroll down to the bottom, we can access the free ones. And let's go with the standard. Okay, so in the basic editor, we will see a couple of different options for the profile, the work experience, education, and I want to add a few more sections to this resume. So let me just put my education here first. Now, I also want a professional summary, so I'm going to add that there. I'm just going to save that for now. I'll add some more information in a bit. Add section again, and I'm going to add a couple of text sections. So one, save it. Once again, text section. And then once again. Additionally, let's add the skill section. Okay, now that we have this on the basic editor, now let's start adding some of our information and we'll see step-by-step step what we can add. As a high school student, you're most likely not going to have any formal work experience. So we're gonna explore all the other assets and experiences you have to create a stellar resume. Let's dive in. Resumes for high school students can be short, single-paged and straight to the point. In most cases, you can include your education, so the school you're attending, your grades, if they're above average, and whether you volunteer, or are you in sports clubs, or other extracurricular activities you participate in. So now let's explore each one. So now up top we have name and contact information. So this section is consistent for any level of experience you have, from high school all the way to high level executives. You will need to include your contact information. Place this at the top of the page. So I've already have my name here. Now let's just add a location. I'm just gonna type this in, Schenectady. Phone number and then my email address is already there. For our next section, summary. A summary lists your top skills, but is totally optional. Some people add it, some people don't. But let's look at an option that could be applicable for high school students. So let's write a short one here. So honor roll student in an active soccer and track experience in customer service, sales, and creating a great customer experience. Straight A student in history, English, social studies, and MVP in soccer. Now let's take a look at our education area. For the education section, we should present the name and the location of the school. Additionally, if you have good grades, include your GPA. And then for the years, I'm just gonna put XX here. Great. Now for the work experience section. You must be thinking, man, I've never had a job before. Don't worry. Even if you haven't held a formal job, you can still add in formal jobs that you have done for others. All these experiences count. Resumes for high school students need to show who you are and what are some of your experiences, even if they aren't formal. Let's add a few experiences below. So we will start with a formal one at, let's put Burger King. And then the job title, it was a crew member. Crew and then a front counter. 
and then a very short description of the basic things that you did. So provide excellent customer service to all customers. Serve customers with a smile and help guarantee a great meal experience. Assisted trainer to onboard to new hires. Now let's add one more experience, but an informal one. So let's call this one lawn care. Let's add our description. So currently take care of four neighbors lawns each two times per month. Constantly aim to deliver a high quality service and push for word of mouth recommendations. Acquire two new customers from my current clientele. Great, so that sums up the current experience. So we had a formal one and then an informal. Now for our next section, let's add achievements. For your achievements section, think of awards you have received in and out of school. Did you get a reward at school for a subject, a sports club, or an extracurricular activity? Adding the achievement section adds value to resumes for high school students and can't be neglected. Show off your achievements. Great. Most improved soccer player, straight A student in history, English, and social studies, and soccer goal scoring season record. For our next section, let's add a volunteer experience. For volunteer experience, talk about the places where you have served. This could be on a continual or a one-time basis. Of course, if it's on a continual basis, it will look better. Great, city mission, so a soup kitchen and serving dinners from these dates. The Salvation Army, so help box clothing to send to zones in need. And a mission trip, three weeks in El Salvador helping reconstruct an orphanage after an earthquake. For our next section, interests. Interests help give the recruiter a better idea of who you are outside of school. Do you like to play soccer, piano, or football? Do you like art, drawing, or music? Present these interests and activities here. Our goal is to create a positive impression and get our foot in the door for the interview. Skills. For this section, you should add your knowledge of specific areas. You might be fluent in a foreign language like Spanish, or be great at using Adobe Photoshop or the Microsoft suite of tools like PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. These are must-ads on resumes for high school students, as these are often included on job descriptions and needed by employers. So let's start with the first one. Spanish. I'm gonna add here, and I am fluent in Spanish, so save. And let's add another one. Yeah, Photoshop, I'm also very good. I'm gonna put an eight there. And then let's just add one more here. I'm also very good with Camtasia. Okay, so now we can scroll up to the top and see what this looks like. Looks pretty good. Let's cut down on the paragraph and the spacing so it doesn't look too long. So let's go into here and appearance. And let's reduce the margins a tad. Let's bring this down to 250. And let's go up here to preview to see how it looks. Okay, we got our summary, our education, our two work experiences, our achievements, volunteer experience, interests, and skills. So just to wrap up, if we come up here to share and then click download PDF, that'll download instantaneously. To wrap up, resumes for high school students are much different than resumes for executives. Remember, 
Don't worry about having years of business experience. Add your experience, whether formal or informal. Talk about your hobbies, clubs, sports, and other things that speak well of you. I hope that you have found this short video to be useful and that you'll be able to put it into practice. Stay tuned for more videos on the Career Prep YouTube channel and also the careerprep.me website. Until next week.